Welcome to my haunted house. I'm Holly, an autistic creative, inviting you to make with me. It is time once again for Thanksgiving, that holiday that I could not care less about. I get that feeling through certain points of my life where that thin, thin veil of reality just sort of lifts and I feel like time isn't real. Money isn't real. These arbitrary rules of society are not real. I am kind of going through that right now. That sort of ambivalence. Is that what an existential crisis is? Is that what I'm having? Is that what I'm going through right now? And an existential crisis? If so, you are all cordially invited. Has people invite people to parties? Not, not autistic people though. I am, I am inviting you to an existential crisis. So with that, I have just decided that I'm going to have like a witchy, a witchy Thanksgiving. Forget cornucopias. Those are things of the past. I don't even really understand what a cornucopia is or what its point even is. So instead, there are going to be witch hats. That's right. I'm just going to put a witch hat on everything. And that's, that's Thanksgiving, so that's what's happening. Not only am I putting a witch hat on everything, but I'm not even doing it that well. I talked about in a past video that really, like, built-in perfectionism that I often have and display. No, no, I am working on it. I'm working on it, folks. And so I'm just kind of sloppily putting these witch hats together with construction paper. I'm having fun. I'm just having fun going wild and, and not caring. My office is also the dining room, so I had to like, put, I, I've made it to where I can put up my office and turn it into a dining room really easily. So that's what I did. I just kind of started putting those things away in the area that's almost like a buffet area where we can put like bowls and plates and utensils and stuff like that. It actually sounds like we entertain. I'm making it sound like we entertain in our house. And then I'm not even making anything else. I'm the kind of person I'm like DIY, DIY, DIY. I mean, that might be why you come here. But no, I'm gonna take out the same Thanksgiving decorations that I put out every year. And that's what I'm doing to go with these, these little witch hats. Um, I'm not really going to go all out. I'm tired. I mean, come on, tell me if you get this feeling. I mean, Thanksgiving comes with the pressures of family and, and all of those complications. Also, you know, seasonal affective disorder, good old sad, is knocking down our door right about now. And we're exhausted. Our bodies just kind of want to hibernate. Uh, it's dark at like 4 p.m. So no, <laughs> like no. Tell me I'm not the only one who is just going through that sort of feeling where just want to be easy on myself. And that's the question for you all. And that's what I want to know. I, like, I'm not just like challenging you. Oh, I'm pressuring you. I am full on pressuring you. I'm going to ask you point blank. What are you doing to go easy on yourself this holiday season? Because it's so important. It doesn't even matter who you are. Like you don't have to have a mental health condition. You don't have to have autism, ADHD, neurodivergence. You don't have to have anything. The, the, the holidays are just hard for everyone. And you deserve to make time and space to give yourself some room to rest, recuperate, um, take care of your mental health, and just kind of repair yourself. So I, I, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want to know, like, I'm going to be mad at you if I hear that you're not doing anything to take care of yourself. I'm coming for you. <laughs> In my way, I'm going to put on, put on one of my construction paper witch hats and, and I'm going to come for you. <laughs> so once I got my sloppy little witch hats done, I had Chris hang them from our 
chandelier in different lengths with some clear like string that I already own. Oh, I'm not going to the craft store for this. No, like, no. I picked up the construction paper at the grocery store when we were already going grocery shopping. I did not. No, we're taking it easy on ourselves. Remember the theme, we're taking it easy. So yeah, I just had them hang them, put on the little witch hats on my surfaces there for our buffet area in our dining room and I mean, I gotta say, it turned out pretty cute for minimal effort. I get to enjoy it. Um, it gets to look aesthetically the way I want. I don't have a lot of caring right now about what other people think a Thanksgiving display should look like. Um, if you have a really concrete idea of what Thanksgiving should look like, perfect. Do it in your own house. I am having witch hats. I put a little witch hat on this fella because um, this this poor pupper looks so persecuted. This little girl is like, Ugh, stay back, heathen witch. <laughs> I love the after of this and I hope you all did too and again I really want you all to keep in mind if you haven't thought of it yet be thinking about what you're gonna do to really take care of yourself this holiday season it is so important we can't take care of each other we're not taking care of ourselves be silly find some time for fun relaxation Try not to take the world so seriously right now because, ooh, it's so dire. It could just, your head could just explode if, if you let it. So take care of yourselves, everyone, and happy holidays. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications. Bye!